The meter, or time signature, defines the rhythmic feel and emphasis of a piece of music. When listening to a piece of music, we should be able to tap along to the main pulse and identify which beats are most prominent and which seem to have less importance. We use bars, which are the spaces on the staff that are separated by vertical bar lines, to clearly display one cycle of a time signature. The meter also dictates the way in which the note values are grouped within each bar. The time signature is placed at the beginning of a work and consists of two numbers, which are set out similar to a fraction, except that there is no line in between them. The top number refers to the number of rhythmic values that are needed to complete a bar, and the bottom number refers to the type of rhythmic value that is required. In the case of a 2-4 time signature, the 2 tells us that each bar will contain two rhythmic values, while the 4 tells us that each of these beats will have the duration of a one-quarter note. So each bar in 2-4 time will contain rhythmic values that add up to two quarters. In 6-8 time, the 6 tells us that each bar will contain six rhythmic values, while the 8 tells us that each of these beats will have the duration of an eighths note. So each bar in 6-8 time will contain rhythmic values that add up to six eighth notes. Imagine you are at the orchestra concert. If you feel the beat and the structure of the music, you will understand the music better, but you have to analyze it. Listen to these patterns, find the downbeat, tap it, and count in between these strong beats or downbeats. Whatever number of beats will be in between the strong beats, that will be your meter duple or triple time. Let's practice a few of them together. Dynamic is a movement of volume of music. It is how loud or soft the music is being played. Let's listen to Grieg's notorious In the Hall of the Mountain King from his suite Pierre Giunt and see how the dynamics slowly move from pianissimo, very soft, to fortissimo, super strong, to even three forte at the very end. Think of waves. Piano is for soft. Forte is for loud. All terminology is Italian. Mezzo piano, half as soft. And mezzo forte, half as loud, with mezzo literally meaning half. To decrease the sound, we use diminuendo. But this piece is not about that. For a quick change in dynamics, we use molto crescendo and molto diminuendo, which means very much louder or very much softer. For slow changes, poco a poco crescendo, gradually louder, and poco a poco diminuendo, gradually softer. Can you hear how softly the music starts and then gradually increases its volume? That is called crescendo and looks like a hairpin. Listen to the rest of this wonderful piece yourself. Doesn't it remind you of a snowball going down the hill and becoming larger and larger and larger? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>